Hello fellow YouTubers, this is my first video, so I'm just going to warn you if it's boring and annoying, I'm sorry, I really have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just bored, so I thought I'd start a video. Um, This channel is going to be basically a girly talk show, we're going to talk everything girl, all of our secrets, everything we deal with on a day to day basis, cheap products that we can get, um, like our face, our hair, our makeup, things like that. Uh, I noticed on YouTube there are a lot of makeup channels which I love, my favorite being Jaclyn Hill. I'm obsessed with her. But anyways, um, and I love her channel, and I love all these other channels, but the only thing that's kind of a pain for me to get around is all the products they use are very expensive. I don't know about you, but I can't afford to go out and buy brand new MAC makeup or Sephora. All these other makeup brands that they're buying is just too expensive, way out of my price range. I'm only a CNA. I work at a nursing home. I live in my own apartment with my boyfriend and I have my own bills. I don't have money to spend makeup. I spent ten ninety nine on a new facial cleanser yesterday and I about had a heart attack because I felt like I was paying a bill. So, for those of you who are like me and don't have much money, the products that I'm going to talk about today are products that I found that somewhat work for me. I'm still trying to look for better products in my price range, but these are the ones that I am currently using. The one product I'm going to talk about, I actually just started using yesterday, and I'm already in love with it, and I, granted, you can't really tell much about a product within using it for one day, but so far, I feel like I'm going to love it. We'll see how it goes. I'll do an update video later on about how it is, but we'll just jump right into it, actually. This is the product I bought yesterday. It's Yes to, yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Daily Pore Scrub. I have acne, as you can see. It's cute little zit right here. When I, <clears throat> my acne for some reason is only on my chin, and I'll get it like right here in my forehead, and sometimes I'll get it just on the sides of my nose, not on the top of my nose, nothing like that, and I never get acne on my cheeks, nothing like that, just those same spots over and over again, and it gets really, really annoying. So yesterday I did my research, and I looked at a bunch of different products, and I looked at their reviews and what they got, because I really need something that's going to work for me. I've been looking for an acne product since I was 15 years old. I've switched. I've constantly switched. I've used Clear So, Clean and Clear, all these name brand, well not name brand I guess, but all these high end brands that you can buy at like Rite Aid and Walmart and stuff like that and they, none of them work. The one that I just got done using was some type of anti-stress one. I was thinking maybe I was getting zits because I was stressed out because of my job because you know having my own place now, my own bills, it's all kind of new to me. So I bought that thinking that would work. That made it 10,000 times worse. I just broke out even more. So yesterday, I when I was doing research, I found a bunch of reviews on this. Mainly good. There's maybe a couple here and there, but we also got to remember everybody's got different skin type. So everybody's going to react to these products differently. So just because this works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. And like I said, I only started using it yesterday, so really I can't say it works for me just yet because clearly I still got this. But, um... It's why I liked it and decided to get it is it's natural and I've never bought in a natural product. It's always been chemical galore and I'm thinking maybe that's why my face keeps breaking out or it keeps getting worse and, and another thing is my face is very, very dry. So every product I use when I'm done washing my face is ten thousand times worse. It's just sucks up all the moisture. I got dry spots all over the place and then on top of that I have to go buy a cleansing product or some type of product to make my face have moisture to it, it's just so dry, so this, and actually a lot of the reviews I found on this, it, it dries up their skin, but I've used it three times now, because you can use this one to three times a day. I've used this three times now, and I haven't had a problem with my skin. My skin is dryish and like right in this area like it always is, but it's not like when I was done using my face, it's like stiff as a board and I couldn't smile or move, like I just got Botox or something. And so far, I have noticed just from going using it last night and waking up this morning, I kid you not, I have noticed a big difference already. My pores are way smaller than what they were yesterday. This is it. It's still ugly and hideous and talks to me in my sleep, but it is a lot smaller than it was yesterday, and the redness has gone way, way, way down. And my chin air my chin. Oh yeah, my chin's up here. My forehead area up here has the redness. I don't guess it's that bad here, they're just little, but it's mainly redness, but the redness has gone down, you can barely even tell, and last night it was like, connect the dots on my forehead. 
So hopefully this continues to work for me eventually to the point where this little sucker disappears and I don't have any more zits on my face at all. And I will be a happy girl. So there's that. Um, oh, and then for my moisturizer, I can't find a moisturizer that works for my skin. I can't. And it's all too expensive and I'm not going to pay $22 for a tube of facial cleanser. So, call me cheap, but I use baby lotion. I get like the 99 cent travel bottles from Walmart for 99 cents. My boyfriend doesn't like the smell of it, which I guess I can't blame him. It's kind of weird having a girlfriend smell like a baby, but it works. It doesn't make my skin dry and it doesn't clog my pores because it's, you know, it's a gentle cleanser. It's used on a baby, so obviously it's got to be gentle. Okay, and you know what? All the products and I have in my makeup bag, I'm just going to see right now. I don't know why I'm showing you them because I hate all of them. I can't find any products that work for my face when it comes to, um, that, whatever. Jeez, I am having a complete brain fart right now. This is what I use for my face. Okay, now that I irritated myself because I can't think like a normal human being. Um, I can't find cover up. Jeez, Louise, it was that simple and I couldn't think of the word cover up. I can't find a cover up that works for my face. I can't. I same thing with the facial cleansers. I've used so many different brands. So many I've looked up so many different reviews of people who say, Oh, I swear this works, this works. Everything makes my face look really cakey. Or it just makes it even more dry. When I put it on, it's just ugh, it's disgusting. My whole face is just a snowflake. Sorry, my cat's annoying me. Um <clears throat> so I tried this BB cream because everybody's talking about BB cream. It's more of a lightweight makeup. It's not, it doesn't cover up that much, but it still kind of gives you a nice texture, whatever, I guess. When I first used it, I liked it. Now, I'm kind of not liking it because it doesn't really do what I want a cover-up to do, which is to clearly clear, cover up my zits and my redness and my blackheads and all that stuff. It doesn't really do the job. It's a 9-in-1. It's supposed to be a primer, a moisturizer, minimizes pores, conceals, covers, smooths, mattifies, brightens, and helps protect. And lasts all day. Lies. It does not last all day. It certainly doesn't last all day, but my line of work, I, I sweat really bad because I'm moving around and I'm lifting people and it sucks. So for me, it definitely doesn't last all day. It starts to melt, like especially right here because I sweat right here for some reason. So it doesn't really work, but I will say compared to like using top line from like Rite Aid and stuff, cover up, this does work a lot better. It doesn't make my face cakey. I will give it that. And it doesn't make it really dry like everything else does. It just, it just goes on and it doesn't really look like I have anything on is my problem with it. It doesn't really cover up what I need it to. Like, I have it on right now. It's not really covering much up, but whatever. The only thing in my makeup box, bag that I will swear by, that I will never switch, no matter how much money I have, if I become a millionaire someday, by the grace of God, he'll probably still use this because I am infatuated with it. Great Lash Maybelline, lots of lashes. The one in that shark shaped like a heart. I don't know if you can see that. Shaped like a heart. I don't like mascara with big brushes. I don't feel like it works for my lashes. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. I like this one because it's smaller, and it's easier for me to... I don't know, get it on. I just think it works way better. My eyelashes, I'm like way up in your face, sorry. But my eyelashes, I think, look really long with this. They look like they have some volume. I don't have dark eyelashes or really long eyelashes, so this just volumizes it. It makes it, I get it in very black, so it makes it darker so that it looks thicker. Like I have more eyelash than I actually do, and it gives it length to it, so. And I'm obsessed with eye, with eyes, with eyelashes. And yeah, I've never used fake, I've never used falsies, I've never used fake eyelashes, because I can't really afford it. Um, but I love the look of long eyelashes, like especially for, if you're looking at somebody from the side and you just see their eyelashes, just, it's just so beautiful. So this is probably the only product in my makeup bag that I actually like. Let me double check. Oh, I don't mind this. The Wet n Wild Fergie. This is, um, I use it as a blush, but technically it's like a shimmer palette. I don't know. It's supposed to give you a glow, an extra finish or whatever. But I actually do like this. I bought this from Rite Aid, I believe. It's Wet n Wild Fergie. So, of course, it's Wet n Wild. 
What does that mean? It's cheap, but it actually does work. I do like it. It's got a really pretty color to it when you put it on your cheeks. I use that as my blush, actually. I have actual blush in here. Oh, what do you know? Wet and wild. Pearlescent pink. You can tell I don't got money, right? Everything's wet and wild in here. And I don't really care for this. It's too bright. When it goes on my face, I feel like a clown. So I don't usually really wear that. And... Everything else in this darn bag I don't like. So, if by some strange miracle you actually sat through this whole entire boring video, um, thank you for bearing with me here. Um, next time I post a video, I promise it'll be way more planned out and I'll actually talk about things that are interesting. Well, this is interesting, but I don't have much to show because my makeup sucks. So, hopefully I'll be getting some new makeup soon. That's my plan. We'll be able to talk about it then. But if you watched me and you actually went through this whole 11 minute video, please subscribe, comment on any videos you'd like me to do. Like I said, this is going to be like a girl talk show. We'll talk about a lot of different things. Like movies, hot guys, more beauty products, makeup, all that kind of jazz. So if there's a video that you would like to see, please comment below and I will do what I can. Thank you.